All right, so the cold weather is on its way out. It's still a little chilly outside. It's just in the morning. Right, yeah. so people across the country are like, what, it's not cold in San Diego? It's cold for us, relatively <laughs> speaking, but it looks like we have a bright week ahead because we are going back to the 70s. <laughs> Look at her dancers. She's the 70s singing dance. and dancing today. <laughs> Pro golfer Phil Mickelson hints at leaving San Diego and retiring from the sport early. It's higher taxes that are driving him away. Good evening. Mickelson made those comments during an interview yesterday at a Palm Springs golf course, saying he'll make drastic changes. All right, a mansion goes up in flames. Yeah, we're confused because it was supposed to be Nichelle, but it's me, it's so okay. I'll take it from here. You're, pretty, you're prettier to look at. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> so. <laughs> so neighbors called 911 as a two-alarm fire rages in Fairbanks Ranch. It happened in the 6700 block of Via Cordoba. Firefighters found smoke and flames coming from the basement. Investigators say the house was under construction. Yeah, Morton says it was actually his wife's idea. <laughs> that move? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Shake it, work it, move it. Uh-oh, sorry. <laughs> Got a little do that video. Too much. Yeah. A little hot and bothered right there. <laughs> cool me down. Well, it seems like everywhere you look, someone is coughing or sneezing. San Diego is seeing an uptick in cases of the flu. And many residents are taking drastic measures to avoid getting sick. But do they really protect you? <coughs> guard against influenza to get the flu shot. And just stay home if you feel sick. We're only in the middle of flu season, which typically runs from October to late March, so there's no ruling out that the worst is yet to come. A surfer found himself in a rocky situation, getting stuck several feet above the churning waters of Ocean Beach in San Francisco. A helicopter was en route to hoist the surfer from Seal Rock, but before it got there, he jumped into the water where two Coast Guard swimmers were waiting for him. The surfer and rescuers paddled to an SFPD boat. The surfer was checked out by medical personnel. He did not suffer any injuries. A Utah woman is lucky to be alive after a giant boulder crashed right into her bedroom. She was asleep when the boulder came loose from a nearby hill and rolled into the side of the house. In shock and injured, the woman managed to find her phone and called 911. Her husband was visiting their son at a home nearby when the accident happened. We could hear her screaming. Well, she did suffer a broken jaw and a cracked sternum, but she's expected to recover.